We are 15K strong. Did you know that? No. It's pretty dope, though. We are pretty dope. What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing today? We got some stuff to talk about. 15K strong. 15K strong. That's right. We got 15K members today, which I think is pretty sick. So if you're in here, say hello. We got a lot to talk about today. Man, we got some good stuff happening. So let's start reviewing. If you're in the room, say hello. Say hello, everybody in here. Let me see your faces. Victor, Jeff, Dutch, uh, everybody, welcome. Guys, so we're going to look at the market today, guys. First of all, let's review a couple things. Last week, you know, some people kept asking me about, you know, how many of the things do we do that are winning? So I pick like five stocks that are my favorite that I put on my favorites list and I called them out yesterday. Uh, I'm sorry, last time. So the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to review those specific stocks and really check that out. OK, so as you remember, I'm going to give you the stocks we go and we're going to look at the results and see, is this stuff really working or is this just shenanigans? Mm -hmm. Are these just bl that, that could be just freaking shenanigans, bro? And we don't want to deal with no shenanigans. We want the real deal. So I'm gonna go in here. And Elliot, you're gonna give me the stocks. What's up, Lori? What's up, Bob Benish? How are you, man? Jeff, nice seeing you, brother. Uh Audley Martin, always stalking me over here. What's up, man? Mary Esther Cheech, how are you? So, what stocks did you pick last week? Uh, We're gonna start with J and J. I told you I really like this. I was I was a big fan. So Let's look at this for a second. We called this out. What is going on with my mouse? Oh, there you go. Oh, it's not, it's not scrolling. Really weird. Hold on, guys. My mouse is dying over here. Oh, no, it really is dead. Oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> it's moving in a weird direction. Sorry, guys. Here we go. Okay, so if you look at what we have going on over here, we called this out on to friday thursday. thursday sorry so today's what tuesday monday friday thursday so you could see if you would have played the stock exactly what we said which was right here that's anywhere from 167 all the way to 173 if you're playing options i had somebody play this already they got 174 percent profit 174 percent profit and right now, obviously, it hit resistance, so it's kind of it's ready to calm down. So that was our first call from Thursday. Okay, the second call from Thursday was A E E. A E E. Let's check that one out again. This one's crazy. So we got to look at where the plays are. So if you're looking to make money and you're sick of day trading and doing all those type of things and consistently taking losses, this is what consistency is. Uh, so we got this one. This is Tuesday, uh, Monday, Friday. Called it out right here. Okay, remember this specifically. Again, guys, if you don't believe me, go back to our Thursday live. You're more than welcome to check it out. We, we said this is going to be called out. I called it out right to the penny. And boom, there it is. Again, same person who hit that number. He told me he doesn't want to really tell me his name, whatever. He doesn't want to share his results. Cool. But it was about 138% profit on this. So he went on. Those are the two he played. Let's look at some other ones. Okay. Uh, Caterpillar. So, Cat, somebody called this out. Guys, I, I can't even make this up, man. I mean, this is just, I like this one a lot. I believe Bob Benish maybe said something about this. I don't remember. Yeah. So, yeah, so he picked it. Very nice play. I was a big fan of it. Called it out the middle. And I still like it because of all the volume we have going on. But look at this. Again, Tuesday, Monday, Friday, Thursday. We'll called it out right here. They didn't have a great day the next day. It doesn't always work that way. That's what swing trading is. It's a few days. And then boom, boom. So I did the math on this. If we would have played it the way I, I did not play this one, but I wanted to, I didn't have enough time, whatever, got busy. That would have been a 480% return in two days, 480%. Unless you're allergic to money. I don't know what you, what you want me to tell you. Huh? Bob, Bob Benish, of course, Bob Benish, because mm -hmm. Bob Benish is part of our course, part of our elite members, and great fine on that. I'm glad we all agreed on it. So I I, I give uh, Bob on this one full credit. Mm -hmm. And then AWK. AWK is another, oh, I'm sorry, AWK? Yeah. Yep, that was another one we looked at. 
Again, AWK. Now, this looks, oh, no. Well, here's the thing. I didn't. I was talking about the 50-day moving day average. I really like this one a lot. And guess, guess what happened? Let's look at it together. we got to go back to Thursday. So Tuesday, Monday, Friday, Thursday. So we played it around here. That's from 155 all the way to 161. Perfect play down the center. Again, it, just from that one live, you could have made a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of money. Now, if you're interested in understanding how this works, it's very simple. Uh, the first thing I recommend is watching our webinar. It's one hour long, and it really breaks down the foundation of six simple steps I use to make money like this every single week with everybody here. You know, so if you guys want us to review results, we could do this all time. In fact, we did it the week before. It was 100% win as well. Does it going to be 100% every time? Nobody's 100% every time. But if you're interested in the webinar, comment webinar below. We can't put links on here. So if you comment webinar below, we will send you either me or Dave or Anthony are going to send you a link so you could check that out. So comment webinar below. All right. So um, just wanted to say hello to Jessica Befaro, Christopher Alia, Robert Muir, and Kyle, Rex Hexter, Antonella Bruno Geppert. Of course, my man Alonzo, Chef Willie, Evans. If I'm mentioning your name, man, just say hello. Brandon Marks, Rohi Doobie. And if you're new here, comment new, because I know who's new here. Maybe we could help you out even more. All right, and Antonella and, and Robert, you're going to get the webinar. So what about the market now? So the next thing we're going to go over is how is the market looking? So if overall, the market itself um, is looking kind of cool. But here's the thing. There's people right now, there's two different types of people right now, people who are in positions hoping. I've been talking about this right here. If you're new here, you would understand, you would not understand, so it's okay. Again, check out the webinar, but um, I want to show you this. This is so important, guys. Look at this move right there, okay? I'm telling you right now, there are people who are hoping that the low is low and they are losing money. Ton, hand over fist, just tons of money being lost. And then there's people who actually follow the strategy and say, you know what? I specifically told you guys, if you're playing the market and you're following the market, guess what? It's not going to go anywhere until this blue line is crossed. So just forget it. I'm telling you right now, too much at risk. But guess what? As bad as the market was last week, mm -hmm. we made huge gains. And again, Am I just saying that? I just showed you all the plays. Everything could be traced back. So what I'm saying is, if you understand how that works, it's easy to do. It's easy to make a living off of it. You just got to practice it. You got to learn the system and you got to get some coaching. So that's another thing we do is we provide coaching. If you're interested in getting some coaching for yourself, comment coaching below and we'll help you out. We could interview you. We have two spots left for uh, this month coming up. Uh, to get a little bit more into it. So let me know if you're interested in coaching. We only take 15 people a month for that, obviously, because it is very one-on-one -on -one and we make sure that we provide results. Mayur, what's up? Zachary, how are you? Jesse, you're new here, but welcome, man. So yeah, if you're new here, just comment web and I strongly recommend you checking it out, man. And I'm, I'm going to make sure David, David is going to get back to them. All right. All right, cool, guys. All right. All right, so let's take a look at the overall the market. Like I said, we're in this trend. Um, it's going to keep going, especially with all the news going on. We're, we're just waiting for that reversal to happen. Don't be involved in something that you can't predict. You know, so that's all I can tell you about that. Um, so do we have some stocks? Yeah, if you guys are interested in stocks and you want us to go over any stock picks you have, I am an open book. Please just comment them below. We don't discriminate. I don't do crypto. I don't do Forex. Uh, they're a little too volatile for me. Uh, that's not kind of that's not the way I roll, and that's not the way I trade. I like to keep trades a little bit more predictable. So that's what we do. So if you have any stocks you feel like you want us to go over, it looks like uh, Ace Boucher, Ron is putting Hal. We got Square. We got Boom. So all these people putting it on there. I ain't leaving until we get through them all, every single one. Right, Elliot? And then we're going to pick some favorites and we're going to go over next week and see how we did. What do you think? What do you think? I'm ready. 
We're ready. We're ready. We got a lot of stocks in here. I'm about to say I, they weren't popping up on mine. But All right, okay. let's let's keep it going. What's what's right. the first stock? Oxy. Oxy. Oh, okay. Hey, man. This is a uh, oddly, bro. You got oxy, man. You got to be careful with that stuff. <laughs> so, guys. So again, we talk about predictability. So the first thing I'm going to tell you, man, is you got to be careful when the party is over. So this stock has had a nice move here. I would have liked it a few days ago. However, the party's done. It is way too stretched out. We're seeing already the retracement happening. So the party's done, unfortunately. And not unfortunately, that's just how stocks work. The volume is very strong in it to the bearish side. So at this point, the stock is no longer good for us. We missed the boat. No big deal. There's plenty of more boats that we could go to for sure. What's up, Manit? How are you? Travis McCoy. What's up, brother? Where to next? Uh, B, 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 Y. Oops, I did something wrong right now. Do the, do the B, 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 Y. Again, this one's a big, uh, probably news driven situation because of this gap. So, and it broke the 200 day moving average, which is nice, but it's did it from such a big gap. So it got overly stretched over here. And what happens is, People start talking about the stock. Oh, my God, it went so up. Don't miss out. And then you got that whole FOMO thing happening. We don't want to be part of that. That's a rookie mistake right there. So, and you could see here, it hit nice resistance. It's ready for it to come down. Definitely stay away from this one as well. All right, we're getting warmed up. We're getting warmed up. Where to next? Netflix. NFLX. Netflix has been just on a tear going down, man. And that's sad because the company is so good. I'm, I want this company to do well. I do, but they're not. And again, people want to, people are wondering right now, how low is low? We know it's a good company, but how low is low? Don't worry about it. It's not low enough, okay? And it, right now, it's even worse because look at this. Well, I want to parabola. It just broke through support. We're looking at even more downturn right now. Uh, volume's not that great. There's no turning around. And on top of that, if you look at our momentum indicators, they're pointing to the downside. So if this stock is still has some down to go. I would definitely stay away from this one as well. Okay, so please, please be careful when you're trading. Cool, cool. So if you're enjoying the show, like I said, man, if you have any questions about what I'm going over this, the webinar will give you all the answers so you're not, you understand what I'm saying, and it'll give you a way to get control of the market. Here's what I'm going to tell you. If you have been day trading or doing some sort of aggressive crypto and you've been losing money on Forex, uh, trust me, this is going to help you be a lot more predictable, a lot easier, a lot more calm. And the key is consistent gains. And I just, if you have taken big losses, I'd love to hear about it, man. If you don't want to share, that's fine. We love to hear, we want to help you out. So if you have, let me know, man. But if you're tired of it, Definitely check, check out the webinar. You'll see what I'm talking about, the predictability and how it's going to benefit you. So comment webinar below if you haven't gotten yet. AMD. AMD. So AMD looks to me, now this could be something that good in the horizon, but it's not there yet. So if you look here, you see it's kind of bouncing off this uh, support. But what's happening also is you got to see this, guys. It's been a very strong downtrend. So patience on this stock is very important. It's not a lost cause. You know, some things are just lost causes. Not me. But um, in this scenario here, I would recommend seeing this stock get to back to 130. Thank you. I like 130. I like 132. Yeah. I just want to make sure we're on the same page. <laughs> it's because 130 is going to break this moving day average. And if when it's above 50 and it's above 200, that automatically tells me the stock is back in action and we're ready to go. Until then, we stay away from it. We're not even, we put it on a watch list and we wait until it gets to 130. If it hits 130, give me a call again. I'll be here every Tuesdays and Thursdays. <laughs> All right. Unless you're in my paid group, if you're in my uh, coaching sessions and things like that, then we got Elliot in there and stuff like that happening as well. Damn. And we're there five days a week. What's next? Uh, Clove. C L O V, I think, right? Yeah, yeah Clove is like so. It's, um, I've, I've seen this one before and I kind of talked a little bit about it. I'm not a fan of these type of stocks. It is making a little bit of a move. Um, I'm just going to be straight up. I'm not a big fan of these stocks. If I had to play, you could. You could. I see it breaking the 50, which is promising. 
Uh, I would say at this point right now, we're just waiting for it to kind of break this. And you can see it's getting denied here. If it does, and you want to take a risk at something lower, I would, I would not. But some people like these type of cheap plays. Just, you know, don't put too much money into it. But I think this has a good uh, yeah. little bit. But we, I'd like to see it maybe at three and a half first. Yeah, that would definitely. If it gets yeah, to three and a half with such strong volume, I would do I it. I think this is the first time the stock has come up. I'm like, hmm. <laughs> yeah, 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 and and the thing is, when it does do that, it doesn't. It, it, just think about it. Doesn't it. Last it, it long. Look at history. It's mm. not about me. It's not about what I say. Every time the stock is a little up, yeah. there's a strong down. Up, uh, you know, up, strong down. Look at this one. Boom, we're ready to go. Not really. And then you never see the light of day. Yeah. It's just way too many risks. Way mm. too many risks for me to trade something like this. Next. Uh, H, and then three C's. Uh, what? H, C, C, C. Um, we don't have that one. Oh, interesting. Yeah, we can't so find we, data we on that go one. Go with uh, SQ square. Sorry about that, guys. I can't see H, C, C, C. Man, you know, what you sending us? Um, okay, so this one here is... Uh, um, so uh, the little, this one I'm going to have to do a Fibonacci on to see kind of where we're at. And it's kind of... It's a little bit too stretched to the downside, so... At this point right now, I would not trade it. I'm not going to say it's a lost cause. Again, some of these stocks we're picking right now are not like at the right positions. It's way below its all its averages. And here's the thing. Let me show you a little pattern here. This stock has been below this green line, which is the short 13-day uh, moving average, right? Which is a short-term average. And it just can't get past it. Again, this is what I teach in my webinar exactly how to trade a stock like this and make money every week comment webinar below if you haven't seen it yet and we'll get you the link so yeah every single time and now all of a sudden it got some cojones to go up, up here to the 50 day moving average and then what happened the cambrian mutombo goes for the shot goes for the shot get out of here oh, foul 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 <laughs> yep foul get out of the game so yeah, it keeps getting rejected, and now it's back down. It's just not something you want to trade right now. You want to see the stock get back above the 50. If it gets to 140, we got a situation here that I would like in this stock, but it, it needs to get through that. What's next? Uh, N-E-E. -E. What is it? N-E-E. -E. N-E-E? -E? Mm -hmm. All right. All right. It's good. It's good. good. So, guys, here's the thing. Facebook asks us to try so, to do something, Okay. We are officially at 15,000 members and they want to see how many likes we could get. You know, we work off likes. That's our currency on this session here. So we want to see how many of you like our program by tapping the hearts. How many hearts can we get? We are looking, we need to get 484 hearts. That's the exact number we got. If you're liking the show, let's get, we're taking a heartbreak. Okay, this is heartbreak time. <laughs> so let's see how many heartbreaks can we get. Let's go. Let's see what we got here. Jeez. Let's see what we got here. How many hearts we got? All right. We're already up to 48. Look at that. And then we're going to continue with our stocks. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Tom Lauren, how are you joining the show, man? We've got at t for you. No problem. Are you or Timothy? Let me see some hearts in here. All right. We got some people killing it. Oh, look at you. Thank you. Thank you, Timothy Miller. Thank you. Tom and Laura. Oh, uh, yep. There's Victor Lahachuk giving us some hearts. So there's a lot of them coming through. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys and girls. Thank you for the hearts. Appreciate you all enjoying the show. If you don't enjoy the show, take the heart back, please. If you don't enjoy the show, take the heart back. But I hope you do because we love you all here. All right. I appreciate it, guys. I appreciate it. You ready, ready to get back into this? All right. Whoa. Who took their heart back? <laughs> Was that Drake? Drake took his, took his heart back. He's not coming back to the show again. Uh, I don't know if you guys had a chance to see a few shows ago. We actually had Drake. Yep, Drake the singer on. It was pretty crazy. Good times, man. You need Bella to get that many likes, Vlad. Uh, Bella! Bella, get over here. You think... You think she just turns Bella, come here. You want some snack? Come here. Yeah, Bella's coming. You want to go get Bella? <laughs> All right, if you guys, so thank you for the likes. We're going to continue. We're going to continue. And we're going to show us some, we're going to bring you a surprise for celebrating with us today. This is my, little, my mascot. This is Bella, my little mascot. Say hello, Bella. There she is. 
Yep. We represent. She is my little mascot. Can we get some likes for Bella before we continue the show? <laughs> All right, guys. That's my little girl. All right. Say goodbye, Bella. Say goodbye. Don't be shy. Hi. All right. Good girl. All right. Let's get the show on the road. What's the next? All right. We got a good question right here. Um, <clears throat> Jim Carr. Uh, I never claimed to be the sharpest knife in the drawer. You talked a lot about cat, but I am unclear. Should he hold, buy more? Oh, good question. Or liquidate? Yeah, we were just going over because it was a past position. That's a good question. So, yeah, caterpillar, but look at that. Yeah, do I think we should? Um, I would not get out of this position. Absolutely not. Especially if you got him back there. No, if, if you're in it, you stay in it. It's almost like, uh, it's almost like, um, I want to get in even even if I'm not in it. Now, <laughs> here's the thing. It's hitting here, right? But the risk to reward, we just passed 250-day moving averages, both of them, okay? And we got strong volume. We got beautiful momentum. Everything in this stock says go. Go, go, go. So, yeah, a clear, I would not leave the stock. Even if it goes down a few, a couple times, it's okay. I think the, the momentum is too strong for it for over the next week or week to do all right. Even I, I have a feeling it's going to do pretty good. Uh, Mayor, how do you say goodbye in Russian? Do svidania. Do svidania. Are you leaving? Is that what he's trying to say? All right, what you talking about? What's the next? Uh, FLR. FLR. Also, guys, I know I'm from Ukraine, and a lot of you guys reached out to me about my family and things like that, so I really want to appreciate every single one of you who reached out to me to make sure I'm okay, my family's okay. Really, really appreciate it, man. A lot of you guys did, so awesome. Thank you so much. Everybody from uh, my Ukrainian family appreciates it as well. So thank you. <coughs> um, so this one already broke out, guys. This one's already broken out. It's it already had its run, beautiful run. It was Yesterday was the day to get in on it. Even the day before, I would say, hmm, kind of not, I liked it. Like, actually, one, two, three. Friday should have been the day. Friday. Friday would have been the day to get in. Now it's a little kind of late. Would I get out of it? Maybe not. I would try to hold the momentum a little bit more, but I would not get in on it at this point. Oh, okay. I was going to say, Mayor, don't just leave me with a Russian uh, uh, <laughs> word. Come on. What's next? Uh, affirm. A-F-R-M. F-A-F-R-M? Mm -hmm. Yep. Affirm's been kind of down, going to the downside, man. It's just been really, really going to the downside. It's been trying to break this 13-day moving average. It can't. Again, Part of our webinar, we talk about these moving averages and how they work. It's just not coming down. So to me, this is a lost cause. I would say anything maybe at 50, we could start looking at it. To me, uh, personally, the stock is kind of still new. It's just hit kind of its 200-day moving day average right here, the red line. I'd say anything past 100, I would start trading. If we want to even talk about trading this, I would say 50, 55 minimum has to be at. I wouldn't even look at it until then. Where to next? Um just to make sure, there's not one week that you've seen that's like nothing. Why well, somebody asking that? No, no, I'm just wondering. No, it's nothing. I'm cats, seeing. So. Uh, yeah, cat's good. Yeah. I don't see anything right now from what we've seen yeah. that is a uh, good to look at. Now, I do show you how to screen for the good stocks. Also in the webinar, everything's in this webinar, so it's free. And you haven't seen it. I don't know what to tell you. Then you maybe it, it ain't for you the whole stock. So check it out. Comment webinar below if you haven't seen it. We got What's Walmart next? next. What is it? Walmart. W M T. All right. No, Walmart's kind of, I know, I know. I want to, I want to pick something, but I'm not going to just pick something. <laughs> I liked it a few days ago and I would have probably bought it here. I would have bought it here and I still like it. And I think it would have made money. So that's good. I would have gotten out of that position. Um, right now, I would say, wait, definitely keep it in, the, in mind here. We got this nice move coming up right here. That's the first thing. Second is, let me see, it, it does have this kind of resistance here. And I feel like it's breaking this 200-day moving average. I think if it continues breaking, so if this thing gets back up to 144, it ain't going back down again. All it was, it was a quick retracement. So if I had to get in and take a risk, if at the end of the day today, it doesn't get past the 50, I would do it. I think I would do it. Maybe just wait because I'm trying to force it. But personally... 144, I would like to see it. So I'm, it's not, I'm not a huge fan, but I definitely could put, put this on a watch list. I think this is going to do very well. So hope that helps. 
X. X again, this one is more of a put option than anything. Mm -hmm. So if this, if you're looking to short a stock or do a put option, this is probably it right here. This thing went up. It, it, this is called exhaustion, right? So the stock went up, puddled back down. Now it's starting to come back down. You could see volume is strong to the downside, and we're seeing all the reversals of the momentum. The downside, this is, I have a good, so this is to me a good stock to see go down. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to call that play out right here. I think X is going to calm down a few days. And uh, yeah, you could make some good money if you know how to do that. And if not, definitely check out the webinar. Definitely check out our coaching. What's up? Speaking of coaching, what's up, Coach Brett Harding? Yeah. How are you? Chef Willie Evans, we got you with the webinar. Rohit, what's up, man? What's next? Um, TGGI. TGGI. All right, TGGI. So this is a very cheap stock. It's a penny stock. I'm not a huge fan of these. If I have to play, like, and I'm just going to show you real quick, definitely not a fan of this one. So we got this hitting resistance pretty strong. We got this, uh, very bearish candles in the rise. Uh, this is kind of already breaking a little bit of the 13-day moving average. Volume has been strong to the downside. And we got every single thing pointing down. Stay away, my friend. Yeah. What's your next? B-R-Y. B-R-Y? B -R -Y? Mm -hmm. So BRY just broke out, looks like, right? Uh, so we had this nice resistance here. It broke through, man. Uh, I'm going to say, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm kind of, it's hard to yeah. say so yes. Indecision, they got inverted. Yeah, I, I don't like this inverted hammer. I feel like it did go up, but I feel like it's going to do a little bit of retracement down. And then if it's bullish, then it's going to go up. But I think there's going to be a moment of a little bit of a downturn just because I had some good days. And I'm seeing that um, the volume is not as strong as I'd like it to be. So that's a part of it. I'd like it to be a little bit stronger, like in a million right here. But so, yeah, that's the dilly silly Billy. Where's next? Jamal uh, Choice. What's up, brother? Tea, How are you? T. T. Who? Somebody had T. I forgot who it was. <laughs> I said, yeah, we'll check you out. Um, yeah, so this one here, uh, this was a good stock over here, and it, it has these moments. The problem with the stock is it has big moments, and then it just stays down. And right now, it found this 13-day moving average, and it's just below it. So personally, man, this stock, you need to find the right time and go at it. And the, the reality is we need to see it at 26. If it's at 26, I think what's going to happen is you're going to see it at A to B, B to C, I think it's going to be a longer one than we think. And then it's finally going to reverse. But we B need C. to see. Yeah, it's going to take a while. It's just the way the stock trades. Uh, it's a very safe stock because of the dividends and things like that. So um, that's one of the reasons. But overall, um, it's just flat in every way. I would not touch it, especially right now. On a short-term basis, we're seeing some bearish candles. So stay away from that one. I do see, if anything, if there is a big move, I think it's going to be to the downside. But possibly all the way to 21. So I would not touch this right now. What's next? Um, S G L Y. You ain't got no alibi. Nope, no alibi at all. Um, this one's looking all right, but the problem with this one is a lot of uh, man, it's a lot of uh, volatility man. with each day. So with something like this, is really high risks. The other problem is it's just hitting this 30 day moving at the average. I want to see it break that. If it breaks that, we got something happening. But I think we have to wait. I think we have to wait for this. So th these stocks, some of them are potential, some of them are not. Again, very cheap stock. I like to trade things that are a little bit higher and actually teach you, uh, you know, uh, how to trade a, a much more expensive stock for cheap with options. What's next? Boom. Boom. Here comes the boom. Nope. So again, a, a lot of these stocks we're looking at there. Now this is, I'm going to tell you right now, put this on a watch list. I'm calling this out. Here's what I'm calling out on this. If this stock gets to around 35, okay, 35, obviously maybe even 39, it'd be better, but 35, I feel pretty confident with, with the volume that it has, with the momentum it's showing. I think once it hits 35, that momentum is going to shift to the upside, but it has to get to 35. 
has to get to 35 first. What's next? I'm curious if Zach got out of that with profit. Um, CEI. CEI, um, again, cheap stock, had a big run. It, the party's over. You could see it start coming down. Not, I'm not too much of a fan of these type of stocks. But it, again, you see it's going it, to, this thing is going to continue going down back to its averages. What's your next? We've exhausted the list. No shot. Really? Yeah. Wow, that was quick. All right, guys. Yeah, so if, if, you're, if you have any other stocks you want us to review, please let us know. I, uh, which one? Hey, Elliot, I got in at 28 and I already up a dollar. Which stock is that? Is that Boom? Boom? Oh, he was asking you. Oh, because you were asking. Oh, very nice, man. So if you got into here, that's pretty cool. So right now, I would just be very careful watching this and making sure it doesn't get through. There's a bunch of them coming through. Oh, they just stacked them up right now. Okay, okay. Where's the next one? OGS. OGS. OGS is way too stretch. Ain't no way. Huh? No, I don't know if he's trolling me. Yeah, so this one is way too stretched. We're seeing this. So this is a doji candle, which is a sign of indecision. Usually also leads to a reversal. Very, very risky stock to trade. A lot of people will do it because they hear how great it is and they think they want to ride the ride. But by the time they get in, it's already over. And that's when people start thinking, oh, my God, is it over? <laughs> or why do I always get into these losses? Guys, if you ever feel like that, definitely let me know. You know, I would definitely recommend you check check out our coaching program because a lot of people suffer some serious, serious losses and they just can't time the market properly. properly. And that's, you know, it's not as hard as you guys think. So I'd love to help you out. Definitely comment coaching below. We could set up a call with you so we could help you out and see maybe mentorship could be the answer for you. Where to next? Uh, we look at OGS. Okay, yeah. that's this one. Uh, we got <laughs> Dave of uh, S for BJ. All right. Uh, he's trolling me right now, though. No, he actually knows what he's doing. All right. So, yeah. So, in this one here, I'm liking this one. Good, fine, Dave. Like this, so, I'm, right? yeah. I, I, so, I'm liking the fact that it's hitting this 200-day moving day average. I like that. And I'm also liking the fact that it's kind of it's hitting this support. So, I'm going to say I like this one. The volume is the only thing that's throwing me <clears throat> off, and I can't. Yeah. It doesn't make me really It doesn't. Bad. Yeah. The volume is what's throwing me off right now really bad. If it wasn't for the volume, I mean, I like it. I like it. I'm going to say I can't just put a guarantee on it because of that volume. If the volume is stronger towards the end of the day, I would say yes. I would say yes. But I I'm going to say this much. Out of all the ones I've seen so far, this one's probably the best. I think this could, because it broke through the 200-day moving average, I'm going to say a good day tomorrow. So let's write that down. Yeah. I think we're going to get, yeah, I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it a one good day tomorrow. I'm just questioning it about breaking this line. I, I don't know if it has enough, Yeah. So uh, but that would be a good be play. Target, yes. So 63 would be the target. Where's the next? Uh, shoot. Where were we? Oh yeah. A D T. A D T. ADT's again hold, holding pretty strong. By the way, good good job on finding that, Dave. Dave's getting pretty good. All right. Uh, it's got the resistance right. here. Water. And yeah, this thing just broke through all its averages. Expect it to go down a little bit more, probably to six point eight at least before it does anything else. What's uh, next? Plug. P L U G. <clears throat> P L U G. Okay. What we got here? It's looking all right. It's short term. Looking all right. Short term. So. The one thing I'm seeing here, it broke through this part here. I, I'm kind of liking this, man, right? <laughs> they got the volume. On. I'm going to say I like this one. I think I like the candle. I like that it's it's broken through, through three averages. Yeah. All right. I think we have a good move, like one, two, three, like three dollar move, I'm going to say. <laughs> nice increasing volume. This is moving to the top. I'm putting this one on the list. Fair. I'm putting this one on the list. It's just kind of breaking here. Um, yeah, I like it. I like everything I'm seeing on this one for the most part. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I think I like this one. I'm gonna say that we're gonna see this one at 29. Okay, 29. That's what I'm. I'm gonna call it out to be maybe 28, but we'll see. But the volume is looking good. Where to next? Uh, now we might see a little bit of a downturn. It doesn't mean it's gonna happen tomorrow. It could. Might take a few days. Where to next? Uh, B E. B E. BE is looking good. Who's giving us these? Are these uh, are... Ben, that was in that onslaught that just came oh. through. 
So BE is another one that's looking all right. Now the volume's not as strong, but it's pretty solid to me. I like what I'm seeing here. Um, I'm expecting maybe a little bit of a downturn, but I think in the next week we will see a decent decent move on this one. So I'm going to say I like this one as well. What do you think? Yeah, no, I like that. Fresh breakout right there. Fresh breakout. I, like I agree. When, I like when the bread's fresh. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, definitely calling that one out here for sure. What's your uh, next? We got RMNI. RMNI. No, so this one just had a gap and, it, and it's kind of just stuck here in the middle here. Uh, it's just in the middle of nowhere between 50 and 200 day moving average. Very risky. I would not play this. Mm -hmm. uh, we got AR. AR. All right. AR, again, very, very stretched now. The stock has been going up. And you could see it's been going up so much. All these averages are here. It's it, This is where the stock belongs. It's just too many averages that are just... We need to see it come down more. Very, very stretched. And then you, you're already beginning to see some uh, bearish candles. The volume is still kind of high, which is good. But at this point, we're seeing a little bit of a turn here on the momentum. Uh, you've seen an RSI as well. So to me, I think this is just, re it's just a, a an indication of it's time for it to reverse soon. What's your next? L-N-T. LNT, okay. LNT could be a good play to the downside soon. Oh, it's my volume oh, up. Oh, right, the volume's a little. Oh yeah, Someone's it's a little bit up. Yeah, yeah, it was me. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah. So on this one here, you could see we have uh right there. It's a perfect resistance play. Um, I'm gonna say this one here. I'm gonna call it down the middle or down, down the, the down. Now, the one thing I would say is uh, I do see that it was bouncing once. This wasn't really a bounce, right? Yeah, I would count that. Count twice? Yeah. Big three times? <laughs> <laughs> and four times. So I'm going to see. I have a feeling it's going to do it again. It's going to maybe not go as down, but I think it's going to go down to like around 59. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. I'd say, I'd say it's going to go down to 59, especially the fact that the volume's a little lower. Um, so expect that unless like, we see some, some miracle that it does break through, that could happen. I just have a feeling it might do a little later, just not right now. I, I could see this coming down pretty strong to the at least 50, at least 60. Yeah. At least, I'd say at least 60. We We're to next. That. Um, I N D O. Indo. INDO, very stretched, very much. You And again, I don't even have to say it. The stock is very much a hit its peak. I get it. It's really nice that it went from 4 to 87. The, those are just news driven. It's really hard to find these type of things and play it the right way. And now you can see it start coming down already. So I would not play anything like this at all. Just What's to be it? clear, that like it's not a good entry right now, huh? No, not a good entry at all. Anti-good. Anti-good. Run. To where? Wherever you got to go. Run to the money. Run. Um, it might run. It might run. So this one here. Ooh. That's right. We got increasing volume That's on this. Right. I like this little candle here. I like that. So you could see it formed this flag pattern. Whoa. You see what I just did there? It, it took both it candles. Made... <laughs> it was squeezing. It was like a two play. <laughs> Right? Yeah, it was like a two two of them and then at the same time. Two. And now it's beginning to come up. I like this one. I like the increasing volume. I like the momentum. I'm calling it down here. I, and you could even see here it's breaking this resist. All right, this one's going up. I think this one's <laughs> going to go up a few dollars, man. Might see 36, might see 38, who knows. But I like this one. I'm calling this one out. How many we got called out? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, I'm gonna have to already make a decision here. <laughs> yeah, then, then but, it's a matter of deducting like yeah. which ones are really. And no one's gonna get them right every time. I've been getting them right every time, but it's, I think then maybe it's time. They're all good options. Which sure. next? Uh, BPMP. BPMP. Yep. So you might wonder uh, before we go into this one, like uh, you know, if I'm giving you all this, why not just use it? And you can. 
But what's cool is when you're using options, we teach you how to really trade the right way so you maximize. It's not just about getting into the right play. It's about maximizing your profits to the most extreme. And that's what we do for you in our coaching program. So I, I don't know if anybody's put that in there yet, but if you haven't seen the webinar or please comment webinar, if you're interested in getting mentorship, just comment uh, coaching below. Uh, this one here, not yet. Not yet. So we're still holding this line here, just to kind of like the market. We're waiting for it to get to around 18.25, possibly uh, breaking, I would say, this line here. I would really love that. So eight, I apologize. 18.75 would be my entry point for this. Next. We got NOV. NOV. No, no, no. Uh, NOV got a huge upswing, and there's your exhaustion. Not something I would play right now. Melly, how are you? Jason Pettigrew, what's up? Corneli Corucci, I think we already said hello. Mike Warwick, how are you? What's next? Uh, eczema, X O M A. All right, X O M A. Yeah, let's see. Biotech. Ah, oh, man. Um, it looks good, but I don't really like it. I mean, right now it's still kind of in this ballpark right here. It looks like it's getting rejected there. And it might go up. I don't like the volume. It, it could make some moves, but there's too many risks involved with this one. So I'm not going to, I'm going to pass on that one. I'm always skeptical about biotech, so yeah. And a lot of times, the biotech they'll, they'll have these big moves, but then yeah. it's just these big drops is what's scary. Oh, failed drug trials. Yeah, yeah, so I would not do this one. Sorry. What's the next? EPR. EPR. What's up, Brian Norris? How are you, man? Nice to always see the the regulars. So this one here, let's see. Ooh. Uh, I ran up. It's already kind of up. So I'm a, I feel like it's a little stretch. I do think it's it could get to 53, but I think it's not going to happen like right now. I would have to see it break through this little clump right here for me to make any decisions right now. And plus, we got decreasing volume. We're seeing a uh, decreasing in momentum already kind of starts shifting in every direction. So I'm going to say no on that one. EMQQ. EMQQ. Uh, to the gutter we go. So I don't see this one getting any better, way below its moving day averages. Momentum still shifting to the downside. Every candle is bearish, um, way below its 200 day moving average. It's not something I would trade too many gaps between it. Just not a stock I'm a fan of, I'm sorry guys. Um, so yeah, guys, anyways, this is, uh, I, hopefully you understand kind of what we're doing right now. If you have any other stocks, please let us know. Dish. Uh, we have Dish and okay, we have a couple more here. Let's review those. Uh, dish. Dish is looking. Ooh, dish could be good, man. Dish could be good. Oh, uh, yeah. Dish <laughs> Network. Who still has that? <laughs> you have Dish Network? No. No. I didn't even know they make dish. You got dishes, bro. I got dishes, too. Plates. Yeah, Um. this one's good. So this one had a nice flag pattern here. It's, it's looking as ready to reverse. I like what I'm seeing, but we need to see it get past this 50-day moving day average, right? If it gets past, like, right here, I'll be very happy. So get this one to 34, and then we'll talk. Absolutely. What's the next? Uh, NVIDIA. 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 What can we do right now? So it looks to me like... It's trying to hold that. It's holding this support. Yeah. Uh, it's below. So just so you know, anything below all these averages, it's just not a good idea to trade. And uh, the fact that it's holding this line very strong is also kind of crazy. So to me, it's it's forming this consolidation. I need to see this over 270 to trade it. Oh. I mean, it needs to break through that, forget the mess, and really get into it at that point. Yeah, I think at 270, you saw your car go all in. Yep. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Let's do it. <laughs> House and everything. Uh, BP, BP. BP, too many gaps, it's way too many gaps. Uh, yeah, we just looked at something like this. Um, and it's just below, it's moving the average. Too much ups and downs with this one right now. It could just too much risk to trade something like this. Need new cards with a big hash rate. 
We're talking about. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? I don't we're talking about Tim. About. Tim, what are you Let saying? Let us in on this. Is it a? He's, is it like a riddle? Like a like some a new casino? plays? Maybe some new plays with some big plays. New cards with a big hash rate. Yeah, gotta be it. What's next? Gotta be it. It says a p p l. It is a stock. I don't know if they meant Apple, but a p p l. A p p l. I've done this. On, okay, gotta be a p l. Yeah, no people. And I I do the same thing. <laughs> Apple tricked us with the two A's, and I don't get it. And that's actually smart because AA, if you think about it, when you search something, the first thing that will pop up on the screener mm. is AA. Yeah, yeah, little cheaters. Yeah, they're smart. <laughs> Trade us. <laughs> um, it's brilliant. Yeah, so this one here, again, hold, trying to hold this support right here. But really, what we're trying to do is, is break this. It's very similar stock as well. So 172 is where we want to get into. So Timothy's a, a crypto miner, so he needs a new like Nvidia chips to do that stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, I need new cards. Of the, okay, got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah, okay. I wasn't, sure, I wasn't sure what he was talking about. Okay, what's that? Uh, thank you for clearing that up. I N T C. Yeah, really. I N. Thought he was yeah T C. Goodness. Trivia. Yeah, I N T C is looking like it's going through a consolidation at the moment. Could be something good. Could be something good. Uh, right now it's going through here. Oh uh, man, but uh, not a fan. Too many, again, too much volatility with these stocks with Intel. Way too much. Way too much. I, I'd like to see it kind of get up here, maybe like 53. 53 would be a little bit more comfortable for me. So yeah, nothing there for me right now. What's next? Uh so Soze. That was it. All right, guys, what a great show we're having, huh? If you enjoy the show so far, can we get some more hearts in the building here? And if you're watching this as a replay, please comment replay. I'd love to hear from you, too. Uh, let me see here. Thank you for the hearts, Timothy. Thank you. Ray Tangretti, what's up? Melly always giving us. There's Lori's hearts. Lori, the heart breaker. Good job. Thank you. Thank you, guys. And if you're interested in joining coaching, like Lori's one of our people who made 100K in three months, which is awesome. We had a lot of different people doing very well, very, very well. So we got to make some, get some more interviews going soon. We got some people coming up. But if you're interested in getting any kind of coaching, guys, we would love to check it out. Comment coaching below. If not, if you're interested in uh, the webinar and check out our one hour webinar that gives us your six simple steps. <clears throat> to making consistent gains in the market, definitely check it out. Our goal is to help people minimize their losses, people who are tired of day trading and losing money or doing crypto and just can't time it right. It, it doesn't have to be that difficult. It just does not. So that's who we have. That's who we help. We help people who just who are tired of it and just want to make, make it easier on themselves. You know, and people who are just want to leave their job and make money doing something where they could actually enjoy their life. So either way, guys, really appreciate everybody here. Okay, we're going to be back here on Thursday. We're going to check out all the winning, all, all the uh, stocks that we possibly chose. We were, we were five for five last week. And let's see what happens this week, guys. Other than that, I hope everybody has a great day. We will see you Thursday.